Right, Kevin's already Doug. pissed off. I'm already pissed off. Right? He doesn't want anymore already. I'm done. Hey, everyone, and welcome to season four. Woo! Woo! Who would have thought I would have made you guys do this for four years, huh? <laughs> Who would have thought we season would have agreed? Four of Toy Geeks behind the counter. That's right. Nothing's changed. We're still here. I quit. No format change. Kevin just quit. Things are fantastic. Everything's great. Things are looking up. No. And uh, today we have, uh, I, I think you're just like, we should just, we're, you're not even a guest. You're just like part of the crew. I'm now. a geek. <laughs> He's a geek. That's right. It's Janky, everyone, it's from Janky Toys. Hi, guys. I hear you're making a new toy called Super Plastic. I hear, yeah. It's a piece of plastic <laughs> with a cape on it. We're, we're workshopping some things. But awesome. Yeah, it's going to be great. I love it. I love it. It's an homage. So what did you guys do while we were away? For like four months, I've been here this Lots whole of stuff. time. You've been, George has been sitting here. I've, I've grown a beard, <laughs> just had, waiting. You had a beard. Just sitting here waiting this whole time. <laughs> oh my god, we're sorry. Just sorry. Justin was pissed because I'm right in the way of the computer. So. <laughs> Get out of the way, George. What about you guys? Uh, ah, exciting. So yeah, in December, in December, I went to London vacation, and then like three days later, I went to. China for the future laboratory for the show. Coronavirus, yeah, no. nice. Mm -hmm. Although that was actually going on, they had just hadn't announced that yet. Oh. In a different part of China. They're waiting. So to stay away from Jack, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> That's late. why you set me right here. <laughs> right, right. I need, I need a little Sweet. distance. Yeah, right. right. Actually, actually, you're, you're all hosed. You're, you're all within six feet. <laughs> you're, I, I was gonna say you're surrounded because he went to China. I went to you Japan. Went to Japan, right? So you're screwed either way. <laughs> That's what I did during the break because I watched you guys travel. Oh, there you go. Ooh. He's got on my Instagram. Ooh. Well, I brought a whole bunch of stuff back from Japan. Ooh. Cool. Yeah, so I thought we'd start off the season with a whole bunch of Japanese things. Before yeah. we get to your Japanese things, I brought two things for the show. Oh, let's do it. Because mine are two and they're small. Okay. okay. So we'll do this fast so I can finally open these toys at my house. <laughs> um, Whoa. This one's Whoa. been sitting in my box for a while, or sitting at my desk for a while. Runamux? Uh, huh. So this is one of the artists in yeah, series cool. four of the OMFG. Okay. Um, went and made his own series with a bunch of different artists. Oh, really? Um, the only difference is he sculpted all of them. Oh, wow. Huh. Instead of letting anyone else, like, so he he got the designs from other people, and he did all the sculpting and controlled it that way. So he basically did what you did. No, I didn't sculpt most of them. Really? No, they yeah. Clean up a little bit, right? Mm. On some, but mostly, yeah. Most of them were sculpted by the artists. So are these to scale with OMFGs? No, they are a bit bigger, which is why he did a blister pack and everything. Okay. Um, that guy comes out of there too. I love what? that piece. That is. What is the? What is that? It's what like is the tongue, material? Yeah. PVC. Uh, they're PVC. Yeah. These are these okay. are the same thing as OMFG. The same like materials and everything. Same so kind of like softness, hardness. Yeah. Uh, they're made by Last Resort Toys. You can go to lastresorttoys.com if you want to buy your own. Um, <laughs> the artists involved are oh Sam God. De Jesus, Sam De Jesus. I don't know how you say it. Uh, Brian Folk, who was the guy that sculpted all of them. Like uh, Trista. It's like a death. Octopus. Nick Sardos, right Al right Sharp, aka Big Birdie. Big Birdie. Gabriel Berrigan and Christopher Howard Wolf. These are great. These are really good. Well, yeah. the, the detail on these is well, these Kickstarter. Awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, uh, Brian's a really awesome sculptor. He works in uh, special effects as well. Nice. Um, he makes really large things as well. And Did he do these in ZBrush? No, I think they're all hand sculpted. These are awesome. Cool. Old school. I mean, anything Old with school. a ray gun, clearly. I, had a ray gun gun I think tattoo. you got a ray gun fetish. Yeah, I do. A little nice. bit. These are awesome. How yeah, much were they? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, okay. 15 bucks. It was a Kickstarter, so I got these have been sent. Well, I mean, does cool. he still yeah. sell them? At yeah, they're on his site. Um, you can get them in all oh, sorts hey, of like colors. And LastResortToys.com. There you go. Awesome. Snowman you fit home run. Killing him. And actually, nice you know, wood, right? he wants to come on the show at some point, Only too. Only 20% so. of the snow. Come on. We should have him on the show. Please, come on the show. Tell us when you can make it. And this one actually just came in the mail today. Ooh. Um, I just ordered it off. I got this off today. Instagram. Today. Um, I don't remember someone I was following or someone that followed me like wrote some comment I clicked on his thing to look at his stuff uh -huh. he had a picture of one of these and I clicked on that picture looked at the artist who made that thing and I found this thing like I don't know I don't this know is how a I deep got rabbit it. hole of a toy buy yeah but look at how freaking rad this Whoa. is oh that is cool Ooh. it's hollow <laughs> oh my god um, I can't tell you who made it it's bone ghost okay uh, that's, that's awesome rad Jeffrey 
Di Ottavio. Oh, okay. Was the person's name, but that's not oh. the name on Instagram, if I remember correctly. Well, okay. And he didn't put a card in there, so I have no idea who I can't huh. remember. Anonymous. Good way to promote yourself. Yeah. Well, I mean, I should probably remember if I was more on top of things, but yeah. But like, that's the thing. Like for for guys like us that get lots of boxes in the mail with lots of toys, artists promote yourself. Put a put, put a, a business put card a in. Put a yeah. business card in. Put a sticker. Is put, there really no like put your artists Instagram branding? on the box? Oh, here we go. Huh? Uh, his name is that damn JDO. Hey, yeah. Yeah. On Instagram. Instagram. JDO. This is great. At that damn GDO. Stick a tea light in here. You got a romantic little Valentine's Day centerpiece. Deadbirdtoys.com. I wonder if he made a pink version. Oh. Are these made in Japan, you think? I have no idea. There's a few different colors. Um, I went for the clear because it's cool. Yeah, I dig that. The clear's awesome. Um, I mean, it kind of feels like... There's white. Well, it's slush cast. White, black, glow in the dark, or like a yellowy one, a glow in the dark, and then the clear. It doesn't like say clear. where they're made, huh? The clear looks um, ghostly. It doesn't say, so maybe they're not Japan because it doesn't say. Like if it was Japan, he would have said it, right? I would think, yeah. The I white, would think there would be a little Japan thing. The white one's really cool, but I had to go for the clear. Yeah. I just had a, I don't know. You're starting off strong, George. Strong uh, start to season four. There you strong. Go. So dead, <laughs> dead bird toys. Go now let's ruin it and get to my stuff. <laughs> and it was like 40, <laughs> 45 bucks. The What's truth that? comes that's rolling out of Ben. For yeah. that, that's great. I mean, I, it is cool. I hate your toys. <laughs> that's what it's good for. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, these are that's awesome. That's very cool. How much was that? Do you remember, George? 45 bucks. Okay. 45. The other colors are probably 40, not but the made clear in Japan, was 45. Because if it was made in Japan, it would be a lot more. Yeah. Just Who knows? because the process. All right, guys. So speaking I brought some of made stuff in from Japan. Japan, I brought Kit Kats. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks a lot, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it says gluten free somewhere back here. I'm sure it doesn't. Look, there's. Who knows how to read Japanese? Let's see, not me. Good. It's yeah, I don't. Free. I don't even know what I'm doing. I well, you, <laughs> while you guys crack those open, crack them open. All right. Up. Um, I don't think what flavors are No, I'm sure. Kit oh, Kat I've got a bag of stuff. Oh, they could oh. make gluten-free ones. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Here. I'm just gonna pull a few things out and then pull out more yes. things. All right. So, and there it is, guys. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> How is it? Delightful. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? All right. Mm. So, mm. we're gonna eat it. Too? We might as well start with these. Uh, with, with these guys. With Order. The so this is, Ooh, cool. I've been collecting these for a few years. These are from Secret Base. Nice. And they're basically like either dissected in half. Hey, stop with the crinkling while we're doing stuff. Just eat your Kit Kat in peace. So, <laughs> poor Jack. <laughs> um, these guys, they either dissect them in half or they fully like show you the insides. And they had some new ones while I was there. And the funny thing is there's no secret base store anymore in Japan. What? Hmm. Yeah. The secret base store is gone. But really? there's a there's a like they still sell secret base items at a place called the Atmos Cafe, which is located at the Atmos store, because there's lots of Atmos stores in Japan. They're kind of like foot lockers and we uh, you know and champs Dol like Dolby that. Atmos? Yeah, <laughs> kind of like same spelling. Um, but they, in this cafe, they sell secret base stuff. So the new ones that they had were this Pac-Man. That's awesome. And this Porter. Now, for people that don't know, Porter is a bag company out mm -hmm. of Japan. Yeah. And they've done a lot of collaborations. Recently, they did a collaboration with Murakami. But uh, they took their mascot and uh, they dissected cool. him. These are awesome. I like and sort of the eight bit texture or whatever that is. Yeah, the inside and they're all they're all Japanese sofubi and uh, which makes the cost a little bit high. I think they cost something like a hundred and twenty dollars each. Which for the Pac Man or the Porter? Each. <laughs> hundred and twenty dollars each. But for which one? Yeah. <clears throat> huh? <laughs> what? Which is hundred and twenty? That or this? Both. They were, they're both, they're both the same price. Oh, all right. <laughs> I didn't realize they were both the same. No, you said no, it right. No, okay. Jack wasn't getting it. <laughs> Whatever. They were one hundred and twenty dollars each. So um, I got, I got one of each, and I think I actually got the last one of the porter, which I was really happy. The porter's so cool. The porter's yeah. great. Screw it the is, though. Man. His nose is in the wrong place. But other than that, 
close enough. He's breathing out of his eye hole. <laughs> yeah, the, according to the cross section. Sometimes the vinyl doesn't line the up. The design wise, I mean, like it you looks. Need a Jason vintage, Freeney love. Like, yeah. yeah. So speaking of more vintagey, um, I like to go to Mandarake oh, yeah. and buy um, the coin banks. The the vinyl coin banks in Japan are really, 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 really popular. And last time I went there, if you yeah, go... Yeah, about 50 of them. Yeah, we just, like, it took up the entire counter. So, this time, I, I was a little bit more selective. I didn't want to buy, like, a ton, but there I did buy... There weren't any left that you didn't buy. <laughs> oh, no. There are tons no, They knew left. Ben was coming and upped production. Yeah. So, this is some of the older ones. And I bought Paddington and Felix the Cat. Oh, cool. nice. Which I thought was really fun. And which store in Mandarake is this? Uh, I think I got these at... Um, the Mandarake in Shibuya. Okay. Cool. Which is the one where you go down like five flights of stairs. and It's fun, isn't it's really it? really cool, yeah. Those are great. 1986. That's cool. I love the Paddington sculpt. Yeah, it's really yeah. nice. Old school. Yeah. Old school Paddington. Yeah, this is He's really got nice. PB on it. has a really nice feel ah. to it. And then it says on the back there, Mitsui Bank. Huh. Which means that you probably got this as a gift from the bank. That Aren't makes it even cooler. such crappy things? Like, well, remember when they used to give out toasters? No. No. Yeah, me neither. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alternate universe. <laughs> so, uh, so I thought these were a lot of fun. Uh, Can we look yeah, at that this? is really yeah. nice, actually. So, this uh, looks amazing. So everybody knows QPs? You guys mm -hmm. know QPs? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So QPs are very popular in Japan. Oh. I didn't know that. I, I only realized Ooh. last time that QP <laughs> is actually the mascot for a mayonnaise company in Japan. Oh, oh really? Yeah. yeah. Huh. Like when you're in Shibuya, you see a big building and it says QP and it has a little QP doll on it and you're like, cool, is that where they make all the QP toys? And like, no, QP's the mayonnaise company. Huh. So you can buy QP mayonnaise. But um, as we were walking around Shibuya in the, like the street wear district where like the Supreme stores and all that, they have an X-Girl store, which I think is also owned by Extra Large. Oh, really? And they did a whole collaboration hmm with QP and they had this really hot pink one yeah wearing yeah. an extra girl shirt awesome I didn't even care about the shirt but the color was amazing and they had like two left and it's like super soft <laughs> yeah so I bought one and then after I bought one and Kevin realized that there was only one left he bought the other one <laughs> right Kevin yes. there you go Limited edition. I don't like the soft it's too soft it's, it's pretty soft kind of like, I like it I think it goes back to the original. That, I think the original ones were that soft. I, I would 100% agree with you on like a different toy, but with that doll, I think I like the. It's when creepy. I was in Japan, I bought a QP because I. You it's have pretty to. creepy. And it's, it's way <laughs> stiffer than that. It's know. cool, but it's creepy. The ghost. Oh, you can't compare the ghost. Not going to give up the ghost. No. Oh. Not give it up. That didn't nice. work as well as I thought it would. That works. That works, good. yeah. Costume. Works pretty well. Aw, oh, she dressed up as a ghost for Valentine's Day. Uh, um, so QP. You. There it is. QP and X-Girl. I don't know if they're going to have the these here in the U.S. Probably not. But that was a lot of fun. This guy might fit better in the ghost, actually. Probably. Ghost so <laughs> this one was a Punk Drunkers toy. Oh, I um, love Punk Drunkers stuff. And I, I only on like the last day we were there, I realized... Oh my God! Punk Trunkers have a store, and then we never made it out there. Oh, but uh, this one I actually found at Mandarake again. This one cost thirty dollars or three thousand yen, and um, it's a good I deal. ate designed by Punk Trunkers. I mean, all that good stuff. And I thought, wow, these are so cool. So I have to get one. That's awesome. Yeah. So I picked that up for thirty. Oh, it's, it's a great. really good deal. Yeah. Are you guys Punk Trunker fans? Any Punk Trunker fans out there? I'd love to know. Call now. Maybe. Call <laughs> now. <laughs> Operator standing by. Or George's. Oh, um, wait. It's not. Kevin live. will text it's you Ben's live. phone number. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> so I bought that, and uh, but I'd be interested in knowing how many of our viewers uh, are Punk Trunker fans. That was Comment another, below. That was another yeah. company that I never would have known of if not for DesignerCon. Yeah, Walking you know, around the floor of DesignerCon. You know, that there reminds me. On the Mandarake stuff, if you go there, a lot of the stuff is like kind of like elevated price wise, but some of the stuff like that and others. Very reasonable. They're very yeah. reasonable. So you really yeah. kind of just have to look. So I was walking around um, so I was walking around wow. some of the toy stores, including like Kitty Land. Kitty Land has a small section for Can like, you please tell me what Kitty Land is before it goes <laughs> off in my mind of what it really is? <laughs> sure. Before, before we get okay. flagged on this so, episode. <laughs> right. Kitty Land is a big, big, big it's one of the biggest toy stores in uh, Tokyo. It's 
located in Omotosando, which is right next to Shibuya. So if you go to Tokyo, look for Omotosando and Omotosando Hills, and it's kind of a higher end area, but it kind of leads into Shibuya and Harajuku. Kitty Land is a massive store there, and they have like six floors. One floor is like dedicated to Snoopy. <laughs> One floor is dedicated to all like the Japanese anime stuff. One floor is dedicated to like Disney and like Lego, like half the floor. But they have one floor which has designer vinyl. And they have even things like Kid Robot Dunnies there. Oh, right. But they have a couple of like independent uh, designer vinyl toys. And they had this one um, of Betty Boop. Yeah. And this is like the purple one. And it's made, it says by KFS, FS, Hearst, Dune. But I thought like, Wow, the color's cool. It's this cool Sculpt purple really one. The, the sculpt is great because, you know, she sits perfectly. So I'm like, I want this. So I, I got it. Um, and then we went to another toy store called, I think this is the bag for it, Yamashir, Yamashiroya? Yamashiroya? Is that how? Sure. Uh, but this is that's also... That's the Japanese guy down there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but that's another huge Japanese store. And in there, they had like four more colors of this. Oh, and so you, bought you bought all those. those? I didn't buy them all. I'm like, no. I, I'm like, because each one of these, because these are made in Japan, technically they're so fubi, these guys cost, I think, like 80 to to $100 each. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, if you guys want to That's really nice. check that out. Do you have but an idea how old they are? They're brand new. They're oh, brand they just came out, you think? Yeah, these are, these are oh. brand new. <laughs> 2012. <laughs> What's it say on the bottom? Let's see. This is where you're looking. 2013 on her butt. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, okay. oh. 2012, 2013. 2013. Well, okay. they were brand, brand new, new to you. <laughs> brand new in the store, which means they could have been pumping out colors <laughs> yeah, right. for a long time. Right. And it's just like, you know, since at least 2013. The I like that the sculpt looks like an old porcelain statue like you would have actually gotten. So it's like officially booth, licensed, you know, right? So it looks like I think is. so. Maybe first, that's what that first yeah. I think so, yeah. looks like. Uh -huh. Yeah, the first two copyright notices. But it's it's painted so well and the sculpt is so great. Mm. Yeah, it's really nice. It's so, like a real toy. Yeah, there yeah, you know. I like it. It's like a real toy. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> what? That was very nice of you. <laughs> um, some other stuff here. You guys know Undercover, the nope. brand Undercover. I do not no. Jack, do you know Undercover? I've heard of them, but I don't know what they Kevin, do. Kevin, it's, it's a, a so clothing company, isn't it? Under don't talk to Kevin. He's not even on the show. That's true. Um, He's only 20% paying attention. That's true. Uh, Undercover is a uh, brand, a clothing brand out of Japan. <laughs> and they, they do <laughs> collaborations with Metacom all the time. They have their own bear bricks and all that. And they had this figure there. That Whoa. thing is weird. Whoa. Which I thought like... <laughs> so really they, weird. So Undercover, have you seen the apples with the lights in them? Nope. Yeah. Mm -mm. Like, oh, on your yes. desk. There's one yes. on my desk. There's a Hello Kitty version of that too, right? And there's like a Supreme version uh -huh. of that. Yep. They're the ones that kind of do that. Kay. That's like an undercover thing. But this one I thought was like just so freaking weird. It's and I'm like, like Monsters Inc. character. Oh, and it has the same like headlight eye yeah. thing. Huh. But isn't that like cool? It's like a it looks like a female vacuum. Yeah. Honestly, it's kind of <laughs> creepy cool, I guess. Yeah. A bit under oh sorry I thought it said Undertaker and I was gonna say that's a whole <laughs> yeah I was gonna say it's that's a weird take on that machine. but I thought I thought it was really fun yeah and uh, we went to the new Parco store or Parco Did department store yeah it's a plug that's my yeah. favorite part of the whole thing yeah. the Parco department store in Shibuya is the one that has the 2G gallery oh yeah like how is that awesome very cool yeah. the 2G gallery is designed by Daniel Arsham they have the Soriyama show going on there. And then the day before we left, they had another show going on there, but they drop exclusive Metacom products there. Is the 2G thing, that isn't really a pop-up, right? It's like a permanent? It is a permanent gallery okay. in that uh, mall. And they seem see to be this. getting, at least right now, all the really hot Metacom things are 2G exclusives. Yeah. So stay tuned for, for <laughs> more of that. George, what do you want to open there? I want to open yeah. this thing because it looks amazing. Yeah, how are okay. you going to do this, Ben? Because there's just like a bajillion things in it. It's fine. We're uh, so this here. Was six Can we bucks. just open them randomly or are we well, going to coordinate this? George is... Oh, there's another one of what George has in there. Yeah, there's another one of what George has. Well, then everybody open one. Okay, well, hold on, hold on. open what George has. There's a lot of blind boxes here. So oh, there's stuff in here, Here, too. Janky, this is what George is opening. All right. <laughs> 
they look like they're resell, so you probably need the scissors to get in. Oh, yep. Oh my gosh. They kind of. There's lots of blind boxes that I bought. Oh, here, here's another one, because I thought she was just funny. So this is a this is a uh, a superstar over there. This is a uh, TV yeah, star. Yeah, she's like she's, she's like this hmm. she's like this bigger Japanese girl. Ooh, careful, Ben. What? Careful. But it's like she's a superstar there. She's like oh, big. She, I mean, like famous, big. Yes. <laughs> she's like um, oh, this is cool. Who's the who's the blonde Keychain? from uh, Ooh, Australia? Okay. The the funny actress. It's like in Rebel Wilson. Wilson. Rebel Wilson. She's like the Japanese Rebel Wilson. Thank you. There you go. Hmm. All sorts of you. random yeah. keychains. Yeah. We'll get to those. It, I got, can oh. I have this? This is the best thing. Oh my god. <laughs> it's sort of. It's funny because talking about punk drunkards, how they have their little glass Actually, hanger things. These yeah. are all. It's these like, are <laughs> all supposed to hang off, off the glass. of glasses. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. This whole thing fascinates <laughs> me. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's a big over thing here. over Come there. On. Hanging oh, the what? Glasses. Come on. You got you got you got Is there one for everyone? A pop star. Just go ahead and open it. start open. Okay. That one's this hilarious. This is the best one. This one's very oh, normal. I see why you lose the scissors. That one's pretty great too though. The the hanging upside down. Well, let's see which one Jack gets over there. Cuts open his <laughs> hand. Jack's That's the best one. one. That is That's the best one. That's the one with her like the tongue out trying to like Drink your water. Yeah. I hope you get that one, Jack. You've got scissors. Yeah. Is this a thing? Oh, 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 oh boy. Well, okay. uh, 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 hey, did, did, who approved that? Did he go Nobody. through security before uh, coming yeah, in here? It's called TSA. Kevin, you letting people walk in here with blades? Jeez, what? what kind of a producer are you? <sighs> so this is by Runatown, looks like. Is it? Or iup.co.jp. <laughs> okay. Runatown.com. Runatown.com or iup.co.jp. Did you get, get, uh, oh, we, got we got a double. double. We got double. That's good. It's on cool though. It's fine. Yeah. And now I'm gonna go on eBay to find the one of her drinking milk. drinking the water. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, you know what we should open up next? Yeah. When these. do these become a thing? The little like cup sitters. They're on a cups, I, and they've been a thing for a while over there. I didn't know about them again until Punk Drunkards. I saw them. Yeah, I mean, I, I know think a lot I bought of people like do them. of them when I was there because they're great. I thought I bought four of them. I have the book that has the whole history of them in it. Oh really? And they came with an exclusive one. Yeah. It was cool. Oh nice. Oh wait. Nope, that's no. it, that's it. Is the book a Japanese oh, book? Yeah. Or? Yeah. All right, so, well, I guess I only bought three of these. So, here, let's just open them. This is, I'm pretty sure we can get these here. These are from yeah. Unbox. Yep. Here, you know. yep. Go ahead and open it. You oh, guys yeah. open it. Okay. All right. I'll yeah. sit this one out. Okay, so, do you know the story of these, Jack? Uh, they're creepy, scary things from, <laughs> from Unbox. They're each different artists, I think. Why is everything taped? Because they know that they 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 saw Ben coming. <laughs> They're like tape them up. Don't let them open the boxes. But uh, this is like um, a second series or a third series of these guys. Uh, there's two series. I think this is the first one though, isn't it? Is it? I think so. Oh, oh look at that dude! For sure. Oh, that's awesome. You got a little uh, Reaper gun action. I love the marbling on that. Cool. Oh, you know, I the think the thing is kind of cool too. Right? Oh, I didn't even notice that. What? Look at that! I mean, missing packaging tricks. So I think I actually got all of them green marble. Yes. So you they're all it? green marbles. They are. Yes. How, how did you know that ahead of time? Because they, they had open up. ones, and um, these are the tokens that I think they put in for weight. No, no these are, are actually tokens. Things. You can buy you things can, with them. You can buy freebies oh, with that them. Shows oh, really? and stuff. It takes Ten? like a million of them to get. It's Pop Mart that does them with weights. Oh. So yeah. these are all green mar green and red marbles. Oh, cool. And I think they had another color marble awesome. there, like a blue one, but I, I like these better. Hey, George. Okay. So there you go. Five. What do you think? I think these are great. Ten. Now you got 25. Look at that. Although the only thing is, is I'm pretty sure I'll these are different artists, awesome. and now you don't know who's who. It's the tokens? Like, mm -hmm. Have you, are you collecting them? No, but he is now. Teresa does. Vilesor, uh, Teresa, Zectron. George is sending you tokens. I know this is Vilesor. I don't know huh. who these are. Uh, these are great. I love yeah. the sculpt on this. The sculpt on that one is. I mean, sculpt on all of them are great. Unbox usually does a great yeah. job. They do. Just the marbling colorway on these is. I love it. He's beautiful. holding like a gun and a shovel. Like you can go on either side of our sexy lady. Ooh. <laughs> hey, lady. Put a, point, point a gun right at her. Oh, right. uh, oh boy! In a pro. Um, <laughs> this one's really fun. I, so one of the places we stopped in while we were there, and there's so many places to go. You guys should all go to Japan. 
is if you're Everybody a fan of... Everybody stop now, pause the show, and go to go Japan. To Japan. Go to Japan. Japan. We'll Actually, be here. don't go to Japan right now. Wait, maybe tell them. <laughs> Give unless, a couple months. You, yeah. We'll be here when you get back. So we went to... <laughs> Trying to get the mics. A lot Look of, at your small ghost. Don't How go cute. on a cruise ship. <laughs> this... You get your small ghost. That was so, inappropriate. Ship, do you guys know who made this? Uamo? Dead Bird Toys? Uamo, oh. yes. Oh. So Uamo has a cafe I in love Tokyo. Cafe. Is it cool? It's yes. great. And her brother is the one who's a chef, and he runs oh, wow. the kitchen in the cafe. Okay. Huh. It's a very small cafe, but uh, the food was fantastic. Yeah. And so we went there for lunch, and I bought me a, it's called uh, BHG. Or Big, Big Hairy, Hairy Ghost. Ghost. There you go. And I bought, of course, the glow in the dark one. Nice. So. Do they have tons of toys there? Yes. Uh, they have tons of like the regular Uomo stuff, mm-hmm. but yeah. she occasionally releases some really special things. Right. And right. you know it sells out. Of course. Right away. Of course. That's right away. That's my favorite sculpt so far of the day. I love the simplicity of it. I love the character. Really and more the than like the. I mean, they're great, but the, look how much character. An animation they get out of that face. Uh, how much yeah, I like. I love, I, I love that. It's Uomo. And then that's not to downplay these because all those sculpts are great. But so far, that's my favorite sculpt of the day. Well, good for you. <laughs> Even better than the plush <laughs> Mickey and Kimono. Bad. Well, now that you speak, so these. Let's talk about these. Um, these I got. Do we have to? <laughs> yes, we have to. They're my on. daughter will be furious. They're on the know. table. <laughs> these are the Chinese New Year. Uh, mm. Asia exclusive okay. Mickey <laughs> and Minnie Cherry Blossom style Yes uh, You could only get these At the Disney store In um, countries like Japan And China So Of course I Followed Kevin into the store And he bought A whole bunch of them And I'm like You know what <laughs> Maybe I should buy One of each too How, so, how cool. different is the Disney store There compared to a Disney store Here so a lot of the toys, a lot of the stores in general in Japan are small. Mm-hmm. So if you want to have a lot of products, like like we were talking about Kitty Land and this other toy store, it's multi-level. And it's the same thing with the Disney store there. The only thing is, is that the Disney store there on the outside actually looks like a castle out of one oh, of their really? cartoons. Huh. It's freaking awesome. Wow. So, um, but yeah, like there, you enter in and the first floor was all like the exclusive hard to find stuff like this and mind you by the time we left all of these were sold out really oh yeah they were all gone um and then you go up another floor and it's like pixar stuff and then you go up another floor and it's like house house products and you go up another so this floor. is like a standalone store it's not in one of the parks or is it no it's a standalone okay. store but you okay. could buy tickets to the park while you're there okay yeah okay so Maybe that was fun. Stay Can we talk about that? Is that a Mega Man Zoom Zoom? That what? is a Mega Man Zoom Zoom. Yes, what? it is. Wow. So one of the things that is in the new Parco mm-hmm. um, mall is there's a whole floor which has the very first official uh, Nintendo store oh. in Tokyo, which hmm. has exclusive stuff. It has an official Pokemon station store okay. on that same floor, and it has an official... Capcom store. Ooh. Capcorum. Capcorum. Um, and um, I actually got that for, for Nathan. That awesome sticker. Awesome. Yeah, probably. Sorry, Nathan. I'm stealing it. <laughs> oh. This is not probably. gonna make it home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they probably put that to indicate that I actually paid for but it. But that's cool that you have that sticker now, too. That's true. They, it's like just like little tape. They put like... Oh, that's cool. They're so meticulous about... Packaging and awesome. bagging it up and handing it to you and yeah, folding it, like and taping it shut. Yeah. It's like there. the scene like, in Love Actually. Where yeah. you know, I haven't seen it, but yeah, probably. Don't lie. You just watched it right before you came over. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. <laughs> what? What just happened? You always get a Snoopy toy. So yeah. Okay. So here we can. There's a couple of these. These are well. This one's actually Hello Kitty, so you should open that. Okay. Uh, this is Snoopy. 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 And. Uh, Snoopy. Blue Journey. Journey. Snoopy. Oh, these no. are cool. But it's these are uh, remit. So should and these are called Balloon Journey. Hmm. Wanna crack these open? Crack it open. Crack it, it open. Shields. Ben, you open that weird dog <laughs> with this weird. All right, I'm gonna open up this weird dog and we'll talk about him after. What'd you get? What'd you get? Um, I got a Hello Kitty, two little two little fairy guys in a bottle. 
Oh, man. Well, uh, the little twin stars. Bring that to Jessica. <laughs> um, oh, let's see. cool. So, what did you. Right. It's like Upstyle. Oh, I like that one. What is, how is this? Huh. I wonder. Andy and Olaf. Nothing like watching a bunch of grown really? men crinkle toys. <laughs> crinkle bags. We're doing this because of you guys, I hope you know. It's all for you guys. <laughs> all for you. Seriously, come here and get it. Guys, I really hope you enjoy the journey of our episode. Wow. <laughs> Kind of positive message. That's so cool. It's a positive message. <laughs> Andy this, and Olaf, it says. This thing is so these are called yoga yoga dogs. <laughs> yoga okay, dogs. This I'm, this I'm really hey, this is cool. But it's not standing very well. Maybe you get a, like it, like it gives a little stand oh, and everything. And look, it's a little it dog in, doing yoga. <laughs> uh, uh, I want them all. But look at all the dogs uh, doing yoga. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, here, fix it. Here. Yeah, thanks. Fix it, fix it, fix it. What you got, George? Wind stars in a, in a jar. Oh. Drop the bottle. Do you do yoga, Ben? I do not. Oh, that's fun. I don't yeah. either. Stare at these dogs long oh, enough, choose. you might be inspired to. I, I think I did get this. But I do Jessica's know that this oh, is I tree pose. <laughs> oh. oh, did yours? Did all of yours come with candy inside? Oh. No. No. Usually no, the just a positive message to reinforce. Well, it's not candy. Well, you open that one, so now you got to chew this I gum. I'm not eating that. You know, this chew really the gum. It might be very gluten. well. <laughs> There's a weird color to that gum. Can't be. <laughs> What's the just, flavor, Ben? Yeah, what year was this made, first of all? Oh, no, it's 2019. It's now. Mm. Good. Melon. Oh. Yeah, you want some? Mm, yeah. It's only slightly stars. Recycled. <laughs> I love that. This is, the, this is the kind. Well, this is the kind of crap that I yeah, it spend money off. on. <laughs> it's like, Let's see what the other. Can I see like. the weird quirky? Can I see the weird dog? Yeah, <laughs> take the weird dog. Nobody cares about the balloon Snoopy or anything like that. It's all about the weird dog. I mean, so you know, and not to be negative, but I feel like I can go to Knott's Berry Farm and get that, but not that. They might. And I'm not saying they actually have it. It just feels like. That could be there. It's funny. I'm like, not judging your purchases here. Oh, yeah. This is kind of like Downward Dog, but <laughs> so it's another a dog, thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> another thing I bought from the um, Disney store was this uh, blind box pins. Disney and they're loves like, their blind box pins. And these are like travel Mickey and Minis and all that. You want yeah, to okay. I'm blowing my nose right Man, now. you bought a lot of stuff, to do it I bought, this is only a fraction of what I bought. Really? Yeah. This is so, the stuff he wants us to know about. Yeah. You don't this is something he's not ashamed of. <laughs> yeah. I'm not ashamed of nothing. Um, okay, yep, so I got that. got what Bavarian Mickey. I got saucy baseball mini. Saucy baseball mini. <laughs> Are they just uh, uh, laminated? What's I think I got, the got Bavarian one? Mickey too. Yeah, yeah, I got Bavarian Mickey. Double. Oh, we got a Ooh. double. I was really hoping to get a Russian Mickey or something like I that. I like the way that oh, color is it, scheme. Is, is it all the same vintage. pose and they just put a different outfit on them? Really? I think it might mm. be. It's like paper doll style. Is if you it? look at like on the box, the Minnie's out pose is exactly the same. Oh, possibly. Which is kind of cool. Well, there you go. And I got a double. Well, shoot. Yeah, um, and it's actually, it's actually like a... It's just a like printed a, image. Yeah, under right. Epoxy, under, epoxy under, coat. Right. I'm doing this. Yeah. Sorry. Old school style. Yeah. No good. <laughs> that melon gum doesn't what are hold these up. Weird huh? pillows. It's you like got. minty too. All right, so I actually went to an art show while I was there. An art show. An art show, and cool. um, it's this artist called Matthew's Best. So he creates this like little astronaut boy, but some of the other things he does is like they almost look like packaging for like soups and things like that. So I just bought a couple of things. Okay. I think you know the I just bought a couple things goes for like everything here. <laughs> can you tell yeah. can you read the name of this for me? <laughs> hey. I think he's asking you. We JT. don't want to talk about this. No, <laughs> me? That is uh, the classic Star Wars Cool Nuts. Coonuts. 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 Why? What did, what did you think it was? That's exactly what I thought. Coonuts. Uh, well, I bought a ton of those. <laughs> Let's you? find out what a coonuts. Here. Look, guys. Ben stocked up on coonuts. 
Why wouldn't you? I mean, why would you? You know, I you? think you've had these before. No? I did. We bought Snoopy ones before. Snoopy okay. Kuna. So there's actually a, oh a God, couple of different ones. There's old school. There's new school. There's, uh, what they're did you weebles. get? They're you weebles. Get? Yeah, they're, they're no, they're Kunuts. <laughs> They wobble and they don't fall down. Here, open up a they droid one. They wobble and they wobble. Oh wait, you did I open up did. a droid one. And it was a stupid girl. She's not stupid. Poor She's Ray. God. Ooh, George. this comes with weird flavored. Ooh, too. I got a do do do. What is it? C three PO. I got C three PO too. Man, we're duping it up. Yeah, over here. we really are. I got a. Uh, My C three PO is better than yours. I mean, they do wobble very nicely. They wobble great. They weeble and they wobble. They weeble and wobble. George, you want to save Do you want the packaging? No. No, I... Okay. I'm not being kind to the packaging. How come I opened a droid and got the girl? I don't know. How come I opened another one with the girl and got the girl? <laughs> <laughs> Here's a BB-8 yeah, if that'll make you feel better. Oh, uh, that's BB cool. Everybody loves there. the BB-8. Yeah, how do you make BB-8 look bad? <laughs> that doesn't look bad. Here's how. Here's how. <laughs> that doesn't look bad. Uh, there's two things about BB-8. A small... Section and a large section. Yeah. A small kunut and a large kunut. <laughs> but that's what they have reversed. Oh, like this. Like, all right, hey, all right. Like this. But how else are you going to make down. it stand? It has to stand. You can't do or else. You can have oh, one kunut. Oh, no. Oh, kunut. Oh, kunut. Oh, kunut. Oh, kunut. He doesn't oh, like it when you make fun of him, George. <laughs> you can have one kunut that stands on its head. C3PO oh, looks like an owl. Oh, you got to see. Yeah, actually, that is kind of fun. Look at the little acrobatics. Yeah, that's cool. She's got a top knot. So she can't do acrobatics. Nope. No. That's you know sorry, they, sorry, Kunat Ray. You know what they still have in uh, Tokyo? No. Tower Records. Yes. It's huge there, there, right? They have a huge Tower Records. There's a massive Tower Records in Shibuya. There is. It's like nine floors. I kid you not. And um, Bump, they, of, Bump of Chicken is my favorite band. <laughs> Bump of Chicken? Yes. <laughs> No, it Sorry, is. I only I only hung out in the K-pop section. I'm stuck on Kuna, so I don't know where we're going with Bump of Chicken. But. Did you buy a BTS sweatshirt? <laughs> no, but I did buy a Tower Records Cupy. Oh, Tower right. Records mayonnaise. Huh? Oh, exactly. Yeah, learned. Great. I learned. We learned. And, and I did. They had a keychain. Oh, that's cool. So I bought a Tower Have Records keychain. Have you seen the Tower Records documentary? I have. The whole section about so the sad. Japanese so sad. Tower Records. Uh, what else do we, we got, got here? stuff all over. Oh we need clear garbage. I don't even, I don't even know yeah. what's... Yeah. Well, Thanks. Not I think that's when enough. you say clear garbage, you mean hey, put it in front of Jack. <laughs> what was the thing that he put away? Well, Whoa, he put away this. Oh, look at that <laughs> beautiful, handsome guy. So... In flesh? In flesh. That's awesome. Amazing. Okay, do you know how... Have, did you watch the... Yeah. So, no. What? so if you watch through he went Retro... To we actually went to the factory that makes these. These are this is by the way, the uh, designer con mascot Vincent, named after George. Not me, not yeah. me at all. Nope. A little, little bit of janky. Mm -hmm. um, Pretty much anyone with a beard. Anyone with a beard. <laughs> so half the scene. Uh, exactly. Uh, so this is our Japanese version of of him, uh, or Sofubi version of him, and it says decon in Japanese on the shirt. That's what they told you. That's what they told us. <laughs> no, we asked. We asked uh, the crowd. We, we checked else. Google, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we did Google Translate. That's what they've all told you. But the, the fun part about this door. one right here is that we went to the factory, and by chance they were pulling flesh, uh, uh, flesh figure, flesh colors of yeah. another figure. They pulled our mold, nice. and they're like, they let us make uh, four of these. That's one awesome. for me. I'm hoping because I'm the guy that collects the flesh toys. Sure. No. Why not? Damn it. It's not for me. Kevin just said no. I no, it's fine. Me. This one, I, I can give this one to you. No, you won't. Sure I will. I don't, I'm fine. Uh, but yeah, we got, got to, we got to, oh, Kevin, God. Yeah, Kevin gets 20% of it. George is taking 20% of what you brought back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, hey, so, that's cool. <laughs> look, Japan. That's so cool. So did you guys hand pull these so ones out? So they poured the vinyl and all that stuff and they gave us the, the, uh, what is it? The tweezers or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Let's say pliers. 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 There you go. Thank pliers. you. Pliers. I don't know this stuff. Tongs, They're big tongs, tweezers. Tongs. So <laughs> they gave us the pliers, and we got to pull the vinyl out. I saw that. Awesome. Yeah. You twist I saw and Kevin pull. pulling vinyl. I think. Yeah, all of us. My uh, my brother was there, so he got to pull some. That's so cool. He's the CFO of Decon, so he he wanted to see what we're spending our money on. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's just so so cool. Like it is. You know, it's it's. 
it's a hard vinyl figure right yeah. now, but when you pull it out, it's so hot and fleshy and like soft, soft and cool so nuts. good. Got the name of the episode. Cool <laughs> <laughs> hot, fleshy, and soft. There it goes. Oh my god! But yeah, isn't That's that? Really and then cool. they, you know, they cut it, they plug in all the joints, and they put it all together. Nice. And so, are you going to run them in flesh? Uh, we don't know. We'll see. Who's the artist that sculpted that? These were actually sculpted by uh, Big Shot, Big Shot Toy Works. Cool. So, so Clem, the sculpt is. Fantastic. So since you're not yeah. going to do it, I'll do it for you. Believe it or not, these are actually available on like the DesignerCon store. Yeah. They are mm. in, in different orange colors: and orange, blue? green, not in blue, soft and red. Flesh. No, no, not in flesh. But you can get them right now. Yes, you can go right now and buy them, and it'll be fantastic. Um, here, George, you They're might big. appreciate this. Mm -hmm. So one of the other things that we ran into while we were while we were there is they had they first they had a Star Wars cafe, hmm. which oh, was really? kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, that and then they cool. had why is it cool. weird? It's just like it was just kind of strange. Every corner in Hollywood has a new Star Wars cafe or Beetlejuice cafe. Yeah, and I bought of course a ton of pins. Were but there the people dressed up as Star Wars characters? Or no, no? it's just like all the food was based around Star Wars. Oh, oh, this is a bus pass thing, right? Like, or your subway? I guess pass. it's your Disney annual pass holder. Yeah, or man. or you can use it as a luggage tag. Um, so, oh, it's but they also had a, a Star Wars shop dedicated to all things Star Wars, and they had. Those there, yeah. Um, the art on these is actually really cool. Sorry. Yeah, it's like, it's like Japanese. Oops. It's like, it's be, like it's weird that it would be Japanese. <laughs> yeah, oh you no, wait, you got you it think in Japan. Korean yes, I got it in Spanish. Japan. That's right. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, and then I also got these pins. I forgot to mention at the. At most cafe where I got the figures. Okay, cool. So I wanted to ask you something about. You said that the secret there is no secret base store anymore. No. So secret base has an Instagram, secret base Ginza, and they show a store. Is that inside the Atmos cafe? Probably, unless I missed it completely. Okay. But the store was originally in uh, Harajuku, in the Harajuku like Shibuya area, okay. and that store is no longer there. It's actually a tattoo shop now. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So if you go there, it's like. So one thing I thought was kind of odd is Harajuku is basically right next door to Omatesando, right? It's like one street over. Yes. <laughs> it's weird. Hi, Rat Fink. Hello. <laughs> Cover your ears, children. This is a rabbit. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God! What? <laughs> we just got banned from YouTube. Uh, and we just lost our channel. <laughs> All the four years have gone I to hell and a hand years. grenade. Okay. So. <laughs> So there is there is a clothing brand in Japan called FR2, okay. and FR2, oh, yes. yes, and FR2 cool. stands for Rockin' Rabbits. Thank you. It stands for Rockin' Rabbits. And do you know anything about this? Like, no, you know but tell me. Bit. Yes, tell me let about me see it. That thing. That's so all the colors. Isn't the reason why it's so amazing. This is it's cool. You have this. This is uh, you see. This is like a film strip thing. It's because this guy is sort of like a bad boy photographer. Do you remember the T9G Medicom toy I brought in? Uh, it's like a rabbit, uh, rabbit head guy, and it has like the yes, plush rabbit yes, cover, and yes. it has the, the camera. Yeah, Same I, guy. Remember, I remember that. Same guy. Same. So, it's kind of cool. So they have their own gachapon machine inside the store. Of course they do. And I'm glad I got that one. But and can I you describe what this is again? That is a rabbit. Jesus. The, the receiving He's rabbit looks kind of nonplussed about the whole yeah, thing. He doesn't care. He's, both of them don't really That's care. That it's happening. Sort of it's very nonchalant. This is nuts. It's just happening. <laughs> hey, that says <laughs> rabbit. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, and it's like a PlayStation logo. It's right? a PlayStation mm -hmm. logo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. really cool, actually. <laughs> it's fun. I actually think the sculpt and the <laughs> is pretty cute. So. Um. Okay, so last thing. Uh, one of the other things that we did was we went to the big uh, Gundam. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's located on that. Odaiba? Yes, Odaiba. Brace. Brace. <laughs> Thank you. I was waiting for that. That's, um, for those, that's for those old long time viewers. There you go. You know who you are. Uh, so one of the things that, that is near the Gundam statue is you can buy some pins, which I bought a whole bunch. But Gundam more importantly, pins? 
Hmm? Gundam pins. Gundam pins okay. that are exclusive to that location. Oh, cool. But more importantly, what's exclusive to that location is they have their own gachapon machines and they have exclusive oh, no. Gundam. Oh, wow. oh no. Huh. No, I'm not building it right now. Why? It. Call Vampy or Luke. No, that one like is a snap together. Oh, it's really? It's not like one of those like Get out your glue, buddy. Yeah, I'm not opening it. Yeah. Uh, no, it's awesome. It's really? like a little okay. Gundam thing. All right, fine. Welcome um, to my world, putting toys together. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, we didn't talk about those, the little Banksy things. Oh, yeah. Nice. So one of the, the things at the Yamashiro thing. store <laughs> is, and I don't know if these are legit or what, but they're called Brandalized. And they're basically We can have a whole magnets. episode on this. What? On the Brandalized stuff? Well, because, yeah. Because these are little magnets with pictures of Banksy art in it. Yeah. It's just like little magnets of them. And so a here's yeah. the thing I find really interesting. No, it's just about. a frame. It's not even a keychain. This one? That one's a keychain. Oh, that one's a keychain. That one's not a magnet. It's yeah. a keychain. So all of this stuff. The well, brandalism all stuff? The, it's, yeah, the brandalism. So this stuff is licensed by Full Color Black, if you look on there. They're the greeting card company in the UK. Full Color Black, yeah. It takes pictures of all of them. Uh, and they've been going back and forth. And with Banksy, you never know what's real and what's fake, right? But they've been going back and forth in kind of a legal battle to remove Full Color Black has to, ro to basically nullify all of Banksy's copyrights on what? these characters. And what's interesting is it isn't just this, right? So, like, all the Mighty Jack stuff is licensed through Full Color Black. All the Metacom Sync stuff is licensed through Full Color Black. It's kind of weird. Huh. But everybody, like, everybody's thinking that they're buying real... I don't think they really are. Well, these well, who Banksy knows? It's Banksy. Color black. Yeah, that right. would be hilarious. Well, it would be. Well, and I also think half the point with Banksy is yeah. he's probably happy that that's you don't what know I if you're buying. You can really or, tell. Or, yeah. But these are only five dollars. Huh. Cool. So I'm like, for five bucks, hell yeah, I'll get a little magnet with Banksy art on it. In it, I'll take the five bucks. <laughs> That's not how it works, George. Oh, I thought it was like we get to choose. These are kind of strange. No. Five bucks. I want five bucks. Um. And that's it. I think that's it. Did you is put it, it together yet? No. no I, I haven't even opened it all. Starbucks. Oh, oh, Starbucks. Starbucks. This was just like some Starbucks special thing, like for Valentine's Day. You got to add a Starbucks, not a special store or something? I like it. I'm rooting to your bag. This is the one thing you like. No, the one thing he, he really like likes things. is the Flesh Vincent. I like Flesh Toys. This is kind of cool, actually. Oh, uh, we'll just leave it These at that. These acting bunnies glow in the dark, it looks like. They do glow in the dark. These came in different colors, right? I they did. That. There was like a red one, a green one, and then the basic white one. Did you see the stickers? The Mandalorian stickers? Yes, yes. I've been showing them the whole time. Oh, yes. my God. I've been going like this. <laughs> How is that? Because you great? told me, let's talk about it later. So I was like, yeah, whatever. Huh? Huh? Stickers? All right. That's enough. Stuff. All right, guys. Here. This is long enough. Here. I think these are stickers that George would enjoy. And we're back. <laughs> <laughs> No, I meant we're back from the from the year. Oh. What the hell is happening? Erostica. Ero Do you know Erostica? Yeah. No. Erostica is a brand that's been around forever. And uh, they're going to be a decon, which I'm really are happy they? about. Yes. Well, then these are wonderful. Yes, they're amazing. Has uh, um, Rock and Jelly Bean done stuff with them or no? Rock and Jelly Bean. It says Rock and Jelly Bean. It's all it. Rock and Jelly Bean. Oh, okay. Bean. All of these designs <laughs> are Rock and Jelly Bean. Answer. Is it his and brand? No, he just he just does stuff for them. Okay. So So what was your 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 highlight, your your toy highlight of this? It better Japanese have been adventure. this. This. I mean yeah. that's pretty amazing. <laughs> this was the highlight. If you said anything but that, I would Because literally you with that. I got to make this. Yeah, who gets to pull that? I mean that's me incredible. So yeah, one the thing I'm curious about the factory. <laughs> is when they pulled the when they pulled the cold mold, Ben. Yeah. And they poured it, was the first pull pull that com came out of it, was it good? So here's the thing. They knew we were coming. Oh, all right. Okay, so I don't know if they prepped the mold. They probably did. They probably prepped the mold, mold because you don't just show up and be like, hey, I want to pull yeah, my, yeah. Pull right. my right. product. Right, so right, right, right. They, they had this we planned. Coming. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we're respectful that way. <laughs> and uh, they had everything ready for us to pull, and that was great. Nice. That sounds Starbucks, like a lot of fun. Chinese New Year plush? Anybody? No? Cute? It's a... <laughs> Star, it's a Starbucks barista. How's China doing at the beginning of the Chinese New Year? 
Not so great. <laughs> no. Not so great. <laughs> and with that, what was that? I missed Anyways, that. guys, thanks hey. for uh, watching. Hey, he did it. Look at that. It was man. very hard. And, um, you you forgot the little horns on the top. Uh, oh, this is going to be another 40 minutes in this episode. Oh, yes, I did. Yeah, you forgot the unicorn. Oh, man. Horn right. it up, bro. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, don't Darn forget it. to subscribe. Uh, don't forget to like. Uh, don't forget to follow and uh, follow us on uh, Instagram at uh, ToyGeeksBTC. And uh, we, uh, anything else that we need to say? Thank you for yeah. watching. Thanks for yeah. watching. Thank you guys for finally coming back. I've been here a long time. I can finally <laughs> <laughs> just, just, like, we, need you, we need you to hold down the fort till the next Till the next episode. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Till the next episode. Ooh. Ooh. Right. This is kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> we lost everybody as soon as you started oh, that. They're all just done. God. Like they made it this long. It comes like a little plaque. We'll see you later, cool. everyone. Bye. See ya.